Here's something that you don't see every day, a Facebook ads account that has been unchanged for nearly 10 months. I know a lot of you advertisers out there, particularly the amateurs, change things frequently. Like, oh my gosh, it's not working today, let me change things. Oh my God, I got another idea, let me change some things. And one of the things that I say, and I notice this among advertisers that are spending bigger amounts of money, is that things don't really need to be changed that often. You have an offer, you have an audience, and just changing a little copy here, a picture there, that stuff really doesn't make a material difference. It doesn't move the needle. You have to let things run for at least a week, gather a fair amount of data before you make any changes. And on my campaigns, I let them run for at least a week before I even look at the numbers and the performance and see how they're doing. Now, this campaign that we got right here is for a local business. And I actually set this campaign up for a friend of mine. Um, and I do have a lot of experience in this local business market it, specifically the trade or the service that they're selling here. So when I set it up, I knew what works. You know, I really didn't need to check it or anything. I set it up, let it run. I forgot about it. He forgot about it. And we set this thing up back in like April, I think of 2020. Now we're in February, 2021. So it's been about 10 months, uh, plus or minus, not exactly sure on the math there, but we'll call it 10 months that this campaign has been running with a $50 a day budget. And you can see that, well, you can see the performance. We've spent $14,853. We generated 597 leads uh, or conversions. This was done using a Facebook lead form. And what really, really stands out to me right here is the reach and impressions. 178,538 reach. That's how many unique people it's reached, but it's made 965,546 impressions. So that's like a five, a frequency of five. I mean, that's a very high, incredible frequency. And a lot of times I'll see posts where people are talking about, oh my gosh, you know, my ads stopped working. I think I need to create new ads. My ads are suffering from ad fatigue. Well, as you can see right here, um, you know, it's, had a frequency of five and things are still working. I'll show you guys more on that in a moment. Let's just click on the inspect right there. And you can see the learning phase. It started out right here. Uh, so this was back in April, yeah, I guess April, 2020. And then you can see it's been unchanged. The learning phase hasn't been reset. No budget has been adjusted. Um, the audience competition, here we go. Audience saturation, this is what I wanted to see. Frequency, 5.41. So the frequency is incredibly, incredibly high on this. And as you're gonna see from some numbers here, which I did some cool things with to show you the data, it's still performing very freaking well. So check this out right here. I put this into uh, a Google sheet here and made a little chart. And what I charted is the average cost per lead or cost per conversion. I'm gonna call it my cost per lead at this point the trailing 30 day average cost per lead from this date. So 519 and 30 days before it, my average cost per lead was this. So this is a 30 day moving average uh, checked weekly or 30 day moving average charted weekly would be the, the official way of saying this. And this is how I look at things because on a daily basis, you get absolutely no valuable data. Like if we look at this here, cost per lead data, you know, right here, $50. The next day or a couple days later, it's like $12, you know, and then back up to $50. So you can see this thing pings around between a high of about $50 and a low, you know, of about maybe $12 or so. Uh, but on a daily basis, that's irrelevant. And on a weekly basis, I, I talk about this in this video, and I'm going to mention this here. On a weekly basis, the, you know, the data is, I don't want to say not secure or not not stable but it's even more volatile and i think this blue line shows the weekly behavior right so on a weekly basis it can go up and down too um but on a 30-day moving average you see the trends and you see the seasonality and you can see that right here in my numbers which is the orange line so this is a video i'll link to it in the uh description below this one how to make facebook ads budget decisions with quantitative trend following that's what I'm looking at here, and that's the 30-day average cost per lead, 30-day moving average, I should say. And you can see it kind of goes up. And uh, this here, you know, it's kind of going out of season. So the second half of the year, quarters two and three are out, or excuse me, quarters three and four are out of season for this home service. And they typically spike around Christmas, New Year's. Nobody's really dealing with home services around that time of the year. You know, people are focused on consumer goods, you know, doing things for the holidays. They're not 
interested in the home services that we're selling. Uh, and then after the new year, things start to come down, right? The audience is expressing interest. So by the time we get here and our, thing, and our uh, cost per lead starts declining, we've had pretty high saturation. So again, I can't really make this point clear enough. Audience saturation really doesn't seem to matter much. Um, you know, it does not overcome the seasonal trend. Yes, our cost per lead is going up, but that's seasonal. And I would expect that here. And now things are going down, right? And if we look at things right here, I mean, I think our 30 day, well, we'll come down here. 30 day was at 31. But if we look at our trailing seven days here, let's just put it at seven days. I think we'll see our cost per lead goes back down to 23.52. So at this current trend, I expect this thing to keep going uh, in probably sometime in March. And I would expect it to hold from March through June or July based on what I know of this home service market. Uh, it will probably settle down here around $20 as our average cost per lead over a trailing 30 days. So again, saturation really doesn't matter. Creating new ads, really doesn't matter a ton. Things are following the seasonal trend and the natural demand for the service. So, um, you know, that's a very big takeaway and point. And I think this kind of drives home the point that offer audience <laughs> don't make any changes. And I say that in so many of my videos or don't make many changes. Wait at least a week to gather data, you know, and even that might be too much. You see, I'm looking at this on a 30 day CPL here. Um, another thing too is, the audience size. So I mean, we all obviously can see that it's being saturated, but if we close this out here and we come into edit, uh, what am I looking for here? Ah, right here. The audience size potential reaches 220,000 people here. And on the flip side, we can see that well, over our entire lifetime, we've reached 178,483. So nearly all of them. So in time, Facebook ads will reach your entire audience if you have a high enough budget. Um, I think it's probably fair to say that the, what is it, roughly 32,000 people that we have not reached here, they probably don't use Facebook that much, right? They're probably inactive accounts or something like that. So, um, or they really don't care about our services and it's totally irrelevant. Um, what else do I got here? My notes here, you know, can, oh, uh, this is a pretty interesting one too here. So, you know, over this last, you know, 10 months that we've been running it, our cost per result on average is the 2487 that we see right here. But if we come down to the ads, and that 2487 is a good number because we're selling a home service that probably has an average ticket price of four to $5,000. So if we sell one out of five of these, our cost per customer acquisition is, well, 125 bucks here. But when you look at our numbers here, um, or our rankings, by conversion rate ranking, we're below average, right? I mean, we're average or below average in most of them. But these are really irrelevant because all that we care about is our cost per result and the rate that we're selling them at, which conservatively is one out of four, aggressively is one out of, or excuse me, conservatively is one out of five. We'll sell one out of five leads that come in or they will, this company. I also own a business in the space. So that's why I'm saying, or speaking like it's myself and I know this market very well and I know the owner very well and provide a lot of guidance. But um, yeah, so conservatively they'll sell one out of five. Aggressively they might sell one out of three. So let's just say one out of four or go conservative, you know, one out of five, 125 bucks to sell a big ticket home service project is the only thing that matters. All of these little details over here really don't matter. And to kind of drive home the point that I've been making this whole video, and I make this in a lot of the other videos that I publish on Facebook ads on my YouTube channel, your changes just don't matter. Stop making changes so much because as you can see from this campaign here with relatively, or relatively no changes whatsoever, Things chug along and things do great. So guys, let me know what your feedback is. You know, how often do you make changes? And after seeing this video, what are you going to do going forward? Are you going to stop making the changes that you make so frequently? All right, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Otherwise, guys, that's a wrap on this video. I hope you join, uh, enjoyed the insight and experience that I shared with you here, guys. Um, look for the Facebook group, No Bullshit Marketing. That's my Facebook group where I share more insight, experiences, and experiments like this. Otherwise, I'm signing off on this video.
Thank you, guys.